The state emergency service of Ukraine shared Friday video of the aftermath of Russia's latest airstrike on a police station and residential area in Kharkiv. One policeman was killed and 26 others were injured in the attack. According to the head of Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, Ola Senegibov, a Russian S-300 missile also damaged 20 residential buildings, injuring four civilians. North Korean television has broadcasted footage of the country's latest giant missile test, with leader Kim Jong-un and his daughter watching. The footage showed a massive transporter erector launcher vehicle, commonly referred to as a TL, setting up for the launch. North Korea's official state news agency KCNA said that the missile flew thousands of kilometers into the sky and into space before falling into the sea east of the country. The images shown by North Korean television of the latest missile test have not been independently verified. On Friday, KCNA identified the missile as Wasong-19 ICBM and called it the world's strongest strategic missile and the perfected weapon system. KCNA said leader Kim Jong-un observed the launch, describing it as an appropriate military action to express North Korea's resolve to respond to its enemies' moves that escalated tensions and threats to North Korea's national security. It said Kim thanked weapons scientists for demonstrating North Korea's matchless strategic nuclear attack capability. South Korea's military earlier said that North Korea could have tested a solid-fueled missile but Friday's KCNA dispatch didn't say what propellant the Wasong-19 ICBM uses. Observers say the color of exhaust flames seen in North Korean media photos on the launch still suggest the new ICBM uses solid fuels. Before Thursday's test, North Korea's most advanced ICBM was known as the Wasong-18 missile which uses solid fuels. Preloaded solid propellants make it easier to move missiles and require much less launch preparation times than liquid propellants that must be fueled before liftoffs. So it's more difficult for opponents to detect launches by solid-fuel missiles. In recent years, North Korea has reported steady advancement in its efforts to obtain nuclear-tipped missiles.
천지를 증감하는 대문과 함께 지구상의 온갖 악과 불의를 다스릴 조선인민의 화라로 치솟는 열적 의기와 적개심을 제어하는 절대적 힘의 실체가 거세찬 화염으로 지면을 눌러댔고 위압적인 자태를 떠올렸습니다. 발사된 미사일은 최대 정점 고도 7,687.5km까지 상승하며 거리 1,001.2km를 5,156초간 비행하여 조선동해 공해상 예정 목표 수역에 탄착됐습니다. 시험 발사는 주변 국가들의 안전에 그 어떤 부정적 영향도 주지 않았습니다. 적을 다스릴 수 있고 억제할 수 있는 강력한 힘으로 보수하는 평화만이 국방과학 집단과 전략 미사일 병들은 주체 혁명의 병기창을 더욱 불피의 곳으로 강력하게 다져 나가며 국가의 핵 대응 태세를 강화하기 위한 성스러운 투쟁에 용기 백배 헌신 분투에 나갈 불같은 교리를 다짐했습니다.